The future is here. This is so sick. ChatGPT 03 has released. You can see the two new models available when you go into ChatGPT right now, 03 Mini, 03 Mini High. In this video, we are going to build the sickest space shooter game, zero programming experience required. I'll also go over how 03 Mini works, the difference between 03 Mini and 03 Mini High. By the end of this video, you'll have a really sick game you built by yourself. You'll also know how O3 Mini works and how to get the most out of it. Let's get into it. Go to chatgpt.com. When you click the drop down here, you can see your new models. So you can see O3 Mini, O3 Mini High. O3 Mini is a lot quicker. O3 Mini High is going to be a little bit slower, but it's going to give you much better reasoning and probably give you better results. If you have quick questions, I probably use O3 Mini. If you have more advanced questions, you want to build cool stuff like I'm about to show you how to do in this video, use O3 Mini High. It'll give you a lot better results. So what we're going to do is this. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to build a space shooter game. I'm going to show you how to do it, no programming at all. Just follow along with me. Take my prompts. I'll put them down below. You're going to need a coding environment for this. I'm using Windsurf for this. It's free. Just go to Windsurf. I'll have the link down below for Windsurf. You can use that. So let's get into it. After you've gone into ChatGPT, make sure you choose ChatGPT 03 Mini High. This is the best AI model on planet Earth right now. Come in here and enter this prompt. I'm going to put it down below as well. Let's build a space shooting game using Python and Pygame. Pygame is like the easiest to use framework for building games, especially for beginners if you've never coded before. Make sure you create everything involved, including the game assets and rules. So this will make sure, this last part of the prompt here, is make sure ChatGPT Mini uh, 03 builds out every part of the game possible. Sometimes when you ask it to make games, it doesn't include the game assets like the sprites and the ships and the shooters and all that. This makes sure it builds everything out for you. And what we're going to do is hit enter here. What's really, really cool about O3 Mini is the fact it's going to show you how it's thinking. So you can see what it's doing. It's crafting the gameplay. It's putting together the script. It's defining the entities. You can see how all this works. And if you click it, you can see on the side here what it's doing. Enhancing enemy dynamics, outlining assets and instructions, building game components, refining movement dynamics. It's really, really cool how this works. You can track every single step it's making here. And what we're going to do in a second is after this, it's going to generate all the code. I'm going to show you how to take the code put it into Windsurf completely free and show you how to run it even if you've never ran code in your entire life before. This is going to be super simple. And then after that, I'll show you how you can actually mess with things to improve the game and make it better. Okay, so it's building out the game here. So let's see what it did. Blows the complete Python script. So we got all the game code is right here. Shows us how the code works. I would highly recommend, especially if you've never coded before, just go through this and read it just so you understand how it works, right? You're going to be able to do this without understanding code, but it's really cool to see how the code works, especially if you're a beginner. So make sure you go through here, read how it works, and then it shows you how to run the game. I'm going to show you in a second, though, how to do this from the very beginning. You need to install a couple things. So now that that code's ready, let's go into Windsurf. Again, link down below. Pause here. Download Windsurf if you need to. Open it up. And then all you do once you've opened a new folder... You can click, right-click, new file, and then create a file called game.py, P-Y. Also, if you learned anything up to this point, make sure to hit like and subscribe on this video. And let me know down below what you want me to build in the next video. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take this code, so copy it, paste it in. Now the code's good and ready to go. Now we need to install Python and make this work. So if you search for download Python, it takes you to this site, Python releases for Mac OS. Download the latest one, install it, very simple to do. And then once you do that, come into Windsurf, hit Control tilde key, that opens the terminal here. And then we're gonna install two more things. We're gonna install pip, which allows you to install Python packages really easily. You put in this command, again, that's down below, so copy and paste that, hit enter. And then lastly, we're going to install Pygame, which is a really easy to use Python gaming framework. That's the command right here. I will put that down below as well. Or you can just pause here and copy and paste this. Once that's good to go, the code's set. You have everything installed. Now we can run this. Let's run this code and see how it works. And what we're going to also do is after we run this, I'll show you how to edit it so you can make this game really custom and do whatever you want. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do Python 3 game.py enter and now it's starting okay let's see what we got here all right we got a game i'm using the arrows to move around i'm the triangle down below 
I'm hitting the space bar to shoot. Oh, and it hit me, and I went game over. That's sick. So we had a fully working space shooting game. Let's do that one more time, then we'll start editing it so we can see what we want to change. Okay, so we're shooting. We're getting scores for everything we kill. My score is going up. All right, let's do this. Here's what we want to edit. Here's what we want to change. Let's first make the ship look a little bit nicer. So what I'm going to show you now is how to talk to ChatGPT03 so that we can improve the game and change the code. So let's do this. Let's go in here and let's say I want to make the ship look cooler. Right now it's just a blue triangle. Can we make it look more like a ship? We hit enter. Now let's see how it works here. Let me make my face a little bit smaller right there. Uh, maybe I'll move myself over here. Let's do that. Boom. Okay, so it's crafting a better spaceship. And this is what you can do. It's like talking to a developer. It's like talking to your own employee. You tell it what you want it to do, and it goes and it builds it out for you. Okay, so how to integrate this? All right, so let's do this. Can you give me the complete code now? Okay, so it's going to give me the complete code. I'm going to be able to copy, paste this, put this back into Windsurfer, and gonna, we're going to run it again. Okay, so it's building out the code, and this is going to be easy as a copy and paste. Again, I didn't write any lines of code here. This is super simple. This is really easy to do. Anyone can. Everyone's a developer now. Everyone's a game developer now. This is incredible. Let's go back in. Let's pop open Windsurf. Let's put the new code in. Let's run it again. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at that spaceship. Wow, holy crap. We basically just two-shotted a really sick looking space shooter game. Oh my God, this is sick. Look at that. And your score goes up with each one. That was a, that's a much better looking spaceship. All right, let's add one more thing to this. Let's add one more thing we can make cool. Let's make it, okay, can we add power-ups now that drop from the sky so we can shoot more bullets faster, right? So I'm basically talking to it like it's my own AI employee that's building things out for me, giving me the code pretty much instantly. This is really impressive. Out of all the AI models I've used, I think O3 Mini is, one, giving me the best code because there's no errors. Right off the rip, it just works right away. And two, it seems like it's giving me the highest quality output uh, just based on one or two prompts, which is really amazing. You need to be trying this out. This is the cutting edge stuff here. So let's see what code it spits out for us here. Okay, now we got power-ups coming from the sky. I hit it. Okay, now I'm shooting much faster. So we got power-ups in the game now. You can see very quickly how you can just spend like even half an hour using this, building out cool games. And you can build something that's a really quality product. You really can. Uh, now imagine if I spend another hour just going back and forth with O3 trying to build this out. I come up with something really cool, can probably put it on the internet and start selling it and making money just like that, right? All as one person with zero investment because O3 is free. This is really, really sick. Listen, this is cutting edge, right? O3 just came out today, the day this video came out. If you're watching this right now, even if it's days, weeks, months, years later, you need to jump on this, right? This is the latest technology. When the newest technology drops, there's going to be winners and losers. The winners are the people that go out there and start using the new technology, right? Start using it right away to build cool stuff that they can make money off of. The losers are the ones that don't do anything. They sit there. Maybe they go on and say, hey, write me a fart joke, chat GPT, right? The winners go out there and they start building things immediately. If you go out here and you start building things immediately, you can start making money off this stuff. You can start building programs that people buy. I built this in literally like five minutes. Imagine what happens if I spend five weeks building something cool. It could be a full-fledged AAA shooting game. Really sick stuff. ChatGPT.com. Play with O3 now. It's the most cutting-edge technology. Get on the forefront of this tech. You need to be on the forefront using it day one. Make sure to hit like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video, if you learned anything at all. All I do is create videos showing how to build cool stuff with AI. See you in the next video.